Hi, I'm Marianne, and I'm here with Amy Walker. Hi, Amy. Hi, I'm so excited to be talking with you. I know, I'm so excited. I just heard you talking, and I was just mesmerized, and I wanted you to share with our viewers your thoughts, because you're incredible. So, one thing that's incredible is, not only is she an incredible businesswoman, but she has five boys. I do, it's a lot. <laughs> Do you do the housework too? I do not do the housework. Well, <laughs> That's good. Okay, let's be clear. I have someone who helps with the housework, but I do have to do things every day. I have to, you know, there's just a certain amount of management yes, that you yes. do have to get your hands in when you have that many people living under one roof. But I do have help. Of I don't course. try, this is one of my things. I, I don't try to be superwoman because I have had five boys and I don't look good in spandex and I do need help. So, there you go. <laughs> That's awesome. So, what would you say? Um, to the mom that's now a stay-at-home mom, that she's not a great businesswoman anymore, but she decided to stay home and do everything herself. Um, how does she validate herself so she doesn't say, I used to be a big corporate woman, I used to be a doctor, I used to be a lawyer. What does she do to feel comfortable with what she's doing? I think there's two parts of that. You know, the first one is that the best gift that you can give your children is to help them see their potential. And our children determine their potential a lot based on what they see us do. So we are so great at telling our kids, oh, you can do anything you want to do. Like, the world is yours. Go out there and get it. But then, you know, for us, it's like, oh, but not for me. You know, why not for us? If, if we want our children to be able to see that they can have anything and they can do anything and they can create change, then why not us? No, I I have said this many, many times. I do not believe that every woman needs to have a business. Right. You don't. If you want to be at home, then be at home. Yeah. And enjoy it and rock that role of being at home. Volunteer I, for school. Yeah, I do. Be the best volunteer you can yeah. be. Be the head volunteer. Come so up with new volunteer. ideas. That's right. You know, like the volunteer that changes it up. You don't do the same project yeah. 20 years in a row. Well, but we've been doing this 20 years. Yeah, no, and, and I really believe that every woman does have a and when you can tap into, okay, here's my contribution to the world, beyond just keeping my house clean. Because let's be clear, if you've had a big high-powered career, keeping your house clean, it doesn't really do it for you. No. But you need more, and you need more not just for, you know, just for teaching your kids to feed your soul. And it is important. We should, we should not put ourselves on the back burner just to put everyone else first, because then you wake up one day and you look at your life and go, where did I go? Mm -hmm. How did I get lost in the mix? And eventually those kids leave. I mean, if you think about it, the amount of our lifespan oh. <laughs> where our kids are actually home is not that long. No. And so we 18 to, years. Yeah. Goes now really times fast. that by five, that's, that's longer for me. <laughs> but, but there's so much life to live. And I, I just know that I am a better mother when I'm connected with who I am and when I'm using my gifts and my talents and my skills and my brain to serve, I'm happier, I'm better, I'm more influential. I can totally see that being a reality, totally. <laughs> Having been a stay-at-home mom and then being out in the work world, right. you do have to have that satisfaction and then the kids appreciate you. I remember my daughter saying, I said to her, she was four, and I said, what do you want to be when you get big? And she said, I want to be a mom like you, and I want to do play groups like you. And I went, oh. <laughs> and I went, do you want to be a doctor? No. Do you want to be a lawyer? No. But I'll bake in my play group. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so I, I immediately hit the pavement. I was like, okay. I can do both. I can work from home, and I can have kids, and I can chill with the best of both worlds. And you know, that's what that's the path I have chosen. I have chosen to be an entrepreneur. I actually coach other women to grow their businesses. I also think we have to be very careful to not um, devalue stay-at-home moms because out of all the contributions I leave, I'm very clear nothing going to be more important than raising my voice. And when Most I, rewarding. Yeah, right, and when I'm dying, I'm not going to be like, how many people were at my events? You know, I'm going to be where really my thinking about yeah. my family and how did they do and did they become good human beings. And so I think sometimes we have this going on with women. It's like, well, the stay-at-home moms look down on the working moms and the working moms look down on the stay-at-home moms. For sure. When in reality, we're all women. Be your best. Contribute. 
live your mission, make the world a better place. If you do it because it's a business, great. If you do it in serving your family, great. Let's just honor and respect who we are and not lose ourselves in either one. You can lose yourself in business and wake up one day and say, where did I go? I remember yeah. growing my business and all of a sudden one day I started listening to music again and I was like, what happened to that girl? I love music. I'm passionate about music. I don't even listen to it anymore because I'm just working. And it was shocking to me to realize how much I had lost myself in work mm -hmm. and I had lost who Amy was. And so you've got to hold on to who you are regardless of which path you take. You still have value. You still have things to offer. Yeah, I guess they still have to remember too that um, when they're stay-at-home moms, they still have to, like you said, value themselves. They still have to put on makeup. Wear nice clothes, you know, they don't have to be going anywhere. They have to look nice, they have to feel good. So I think that's it. Unless you're having day off. I love my stay in bed days. Where I just work out on my laptop in bed. I look totally grungy. I just don't do it every day because then you don't feel right. good about yourself, right. you know. Right. So, um, so what do you do exactly? You are a big. <laughs> Tell us who you are and what you do. So my company is Amy Walker Consulting and we do business education for women entrepreneurs. I find I meet so many women who are passionate about something. They're passionate oh, about health. and I have where we are today. We yes. are with women from everywhere that have their own businesses. We are with Cheryl Wood uh -huh. at Playtime is Over. Yes. Right? Yes. So now it's Amy's going to tell us. Yeah. <laughs> so I meet these women who they're just passionate about something, they want to make the world a better place, but they don't have the business skills to back it up. You know, most massage therapists go into massage therapy because they're passionate about massage, massage. and health, not because they want to do marketing and sales and create infrastructure for their business. And so that's where we come in is providing the education and the resources, but in a way where they can build a business that's going to be friendly for their family. I tell my clients all the time, when they'll be like, I want me to do this and this and this, I'll say, that's great. Can you maintain that for the long haul? Can your family support that? And if the answer is no, then we've got to figure out a way to do it so that it does work for a family. Because I want to be very successful. Not at the cost of my family. That's way too expensive. I'm not willing to pay that price. Right.